YouTube land. What's up? It's your girl Makara from Cougar's Clothing. Oh gosh. Uh oh. It's maybe I'm supposed to do some type of wild crazy read. Cause where did that come from? Did y'all see that? When I opened up the opened up my case, everything spit it out. And the cards are acting wacky today. Why is this wacky energy going on? Do anybody know anything? I'm just now starting to gain a little control. What is happening here? Look at this. What kind of reading is this going to be? Something crazy and wacky is going on. I don't know what this is about. Y'all seeing this crap the energy I'm pulling? Whose energy is this? I ain't even got started yet. It wanna be it wanna be on some wacky stuff for some reason. The read wanna be on some wacky stuff. I'm gonna have to read it wacky. I don't know what that's about. Do y'all know what that was about? Everything was freaking wacky about that. Let's see what we got here. King of Cups. So with the King of Cups, right, this could be a Pisces energy. I don't know. It could be. Somebody is in deep solitude here. Deep solitude and deep remorse or deep regret I'm dealing with here. King of Cups. It's something going on with you, right? It's trying to work against your favor, right? But it ain't going to work against your favor. It's going to work into your favor. And this, listen, you see this glow right here? Look when I move the car, how I keep glowing, like from different levels. In the dark, even you glowing, baby. You see that, that glow? I don't know if it's a one particular person or a lot of people or a staff that didn't come together, a congregation ganged up against you or something. It's kind of wacky energy here tonight. Next card I pulled is Eight of Pentacles. So with the Eight of Pentacles, with all of this going on with uh, somebody trying to dim your light but they can't, because you're still going in the dark. I showed you how you go in your dark, right? You got Eight of Pentacles. So what the Eight of Pentacles tells me is that, like I said, you are in solitude. You are working on whatever this is. Um, you are, you have muted people out. You, you have muted people out. You are getting a sharper um, intuition about people. And, and, and just learning to leave them alone and, and to stand up for yourself, whoever you are. So, you got you got something going here, but it's a project, right? But I don't feel like it's a physical project. I feel more like it's a mental project. Like, you, you building, like, whoever I'm talking to here, like, you interested in what's going to be going on, like, in the next five to seven years. So you're working on something, but you already have those pentacles lined up right there. So you already have things in your favor. You have a few more things that you need. But overall, you're good on that. You're grounded with the physical realm. You've been, whoever you are, you've been, like, working on your body. Um, you've been working on better dieting. You've been working on exercising. You've been working on working on like different types of seasonings. Like you want to taste different type of foods and stuff like that. Um, you are in the mo in the mood in the mode of creating more safety for yourself. If I have to say, like this building, like you coming you coming one with yourself. You are, um, whoever I'm reading for here, you are making yourself, or you are building yourself as well to be self-efficient. 
Y'all, I told you this was going to kind of be like a different type of reading. And then I got one that flipped over right there. Y'all see that one that flipped out right there? Let's see who that is. What's going on here? King of Wands. Queen of Wands. So with the Queen of Wands, right, I don't know. Uh, maybe this. You you got. I got some female energy coming through here. So it, it's slow motion. But, but, but it's female energy. Expect a call from a sister, a mother, a female cousin, anything of the female, a female friend. Um, somebody could be wanting a favor. Somebody could want to borrow money. Um, somebody might have a problem they want to see if you can help them get out of. Somebody um, that you are tight with, tight niche with of the female energy is going to get in touch with you. I, I don't know. Maybe she might need a ride or something. I don't know. Maybe she needs to borrow some money. Maybe she needs you to look at the little poo-poo for an hour or two. I don't know. But be just expecting, um, be expecting somebody from the female energy to get in touch with you. The next card I pull is Ace of Swords. So, with the Ace of Swords, the Swords equals fast energy. So, um, I don't know. Is there something that you need to wrap up? I think this is, is talking to me like there's something, there's some deadlines that need to be met. Like, I don't know if you have forgot there's something that you need to get to, some paperwork that you need to fill out um, to see a difference in something or something, some type of money uh, discount or break or something. Something is uh, approaching that you need to take care of that you haven't taken care of. But... You need to remember what that is and get to that and fill those forms out and get them back um, where they need to go. Because it's something that's that's fast and sharp. I don't know what it is. I don't know what you into, but it's it, it has an expiration date. That's all I'm going to say about that. So any paperwork, any loose ends that you got, any bills that you overlooked, there's something going on. Uh, with fast energy where you need to make a move, where people need to see you making a move. Yeah. Next card I pulled is Seven of Cups. Now, with the Seven of Cups, this strikes me here that somebody is walking around like uh, in their angelic mode. Um, a, a kind of halo-ish, you know, somebody is feeling kind of heavenly that doesn't normally feel uh, heavenly. The Seven of Cups really strikes me right now as a vibe. I'm not really looking at, you know, uh, I'm, I'm looking more at it at a spiritual form. The Seven of Cups is, is, is more of a vibe to me. Somebody here is feeling a vibe. And they're feeling like an angelic vibe. You're feeling like an innocent vibe. You're feeling like a purity vibe type of deal. Y'all, these cars keep falling. It's, I, it's not bad energy, though. It's weird, strange energy. I don't know what this crap is. But it keeps falling. Alright, next card I pulled is Libra. This could very well be for anybody uh, that's a Libra or on the cusp. I pulled Justice. So, with, with Justice, maybe somebody... Um, was fairly unfairly accused of something or 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 people misjudged you um people took you for granted um people didn't treat you kindly uh people uh lied on you used your name in vain that, to that type of degree um but you are starting to receive to seek justice um things are going to be balanced out with people that try to damage you and try to hurt you, uh, try to lie on you and, and, and say that you are this and that, you are mean and you are hurtful. It, it, people are going to start seeing through the lies. Yeah, people are going to start seeing through the lies. So, so, so don't worry, justice, justice is prevailing. And if it isn't prevailing right now, justice is about to start prevailing. Um, 
there is somebody, and this is king or queen energy. There is somebody walking around, right? They are trying to assassinate your character so bad. They are lying on you, telling people you are mean, you are hurtful, you are cruel. They're telling people all these things, trying to make you look bad, right? But it's going to turn around and backfire on them. See, see, they think they tiptoeing, but see, everything and everybody has to be exposed. What, what's crazy is, you wish no ill feelings on these, these people. I don't know if they're friends, if they're family members, if they're best friends, if they're ex-in-laws. I don't know. It's, I'm talking to somebody, uh, male or female energy, where some weird stuff then jumped off between um, a partnership, a brothership, a, a something or something. Something real close to where... Um, somebody wronged you, but they are, they're, they're in the middle of their season, which is manipulation. So, so they're walking around, uh, lying, but don't worry, they about to be caught. The last card I'm pulling here, cause I'm about wore out because this is some weird energy that I got to try to figure out what the hell then went on. The last card I pulled is King of Pentacles. So with the King of Pentacles, right, this is a king here that's wrapped up, draped in gold, got the gold wand in his hand, got fruit all in his in his dress or in his whatever this thing is, fruit, grapes, and stuff running all through through where he sit at. Like, whoever I'm speaking here, like, don't worry about nothing. Like, nothing's you are protected. Like, you are highly protected. Like you feeling this weird wonky vibe, you know what I'm saying? And you you think you crazy, but you're not. So that's why I'm here to address this. Like, it was weird energy. Y'all see me trying to straighten these cards out? Like, this was some different type of energy I pulled. Like, you, you with the King of Pentacles, like, don't, listen, don't worry. Like, they trying, but they can't get to you. Like, you, whoever I'm speaking to, male, female, king, queen, energy, like, you highly protected. Like, your ancestors is really, really, really about that life. And, and, and people didn't know that. So, they slowly starting to find that out. Like, like you unleashing in a way that, that maybe they ain't never seen nobody. Maybe they didn't even know if people could have maybe like this before. I'm trying to get these cards straight now, y'all, because this was a weird energy tonight. But, like I said, whoever you are, you've been having these strange epiphanies and stuff. You've been seeing stuff, and you ain't been understanding, and you think you're crazy. But, no, you're not crazy. I just pulled your energy. You just got a lot of stuff happening at one time. People after you, and, like, you just now stepping into the room as far as your intuition, like, so you in the middle of things, like, you didn't catch everything from the beginning, because you wasn't up from the beginning, but you up now. So, that's all I have for tonight. So, just be blessed, King of Pentacles, like, you are uh, multiplying fruit, you are loving on yourself, you are being loving, um... You are working things out that needs to be worked out. You are doing with what you can do with. Um, things that uh, God is driving out of your life, you are allowing him to push them out of your life. You are not fighting to keep these things or these people in the way. Like you just over it. He's over it. He wants to see better for you. So, so different changes are coming. So listen, as they're coming, you just sit back and don't, attri don't try to apply the brake to anything. Just let everything roll slow motion, fast, however it is. You just be brakeless because like this is a drive, right? It's a test drive on you, but it don't have nothing to do with you, if that makes sense. You're being driven, but you're not doing the driving, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense with anybody. I hope it do, but I pulled a weird-ass energy, and that's the energy I pulled. So, that's what's going on. It's weird, but it's real. How about that? Cougar's calling. Mwah.